Today's lesson is going to be on heat transfer and materials. We interviewed some Geneva Middle School North teachers to see what they have to say about conductors and insulators. Uh, we have two objects in the cooler. Would you please take them out and compare their temperatures for us? Please. Oh, yes. All right, this guy, it's pretty cold. Which one? This, this tin can. Okay. Aluminum can. This cup that looks like someone ate it looks, uh, is not very cold at all. Okay. It's styrofoam. This is colder. This one is cooler than this one. So this one feels warmer than that one. Mm -hmm. This one's colder. This one's not as cold. This can is definitely colder than the styrofoam. This one is warmer. This one is colder. This one's colder. This one is not as cold. This is way colder. The tin can is way colder than the styrofoam. So if we were to take the temperature of each object, which one would you say has a lower temperature? This one, the tin can. What makes something hotter or colder? Hmm, interesting. Well, there was ice in there. So the temperature, huh, no. It's whatever the material is and how it conducts, whether it's cold or hot, or cold or no temperature, or cold or medium temperature. <laughs> oh, this is tricky. It holds the temperature in easier? No? Depends on the temperature that it's in and if it can hold that temperature. The, the temperature? The temperature it's in? Yes. To me, this one feels like it's colder because it's metal. Metal gets colder. Okay. So it'll have to do because it's just as heat or and in this case cold stronger. Okay. So it'll have to do with the material. Yes. The metal? So it has something to do with the material of the object? Yeah. Maybe the weight? I don't know. Okay. Heavier. I believe this one is a better conductor of heat. This one is an insulator or not as good of a conductor. Meaning? It doesn't move heat as easily through it. What if we left this in there all day? Okay. What do you think their temperatures would be? The same, different, higher, lower? Um, I think the aluminum can or the whatever it's made of can would be colder. No, because the ice might melt. All right, I'm guessing that this one's gonna be colder. If the ice stays cold, I'm guessing that the styrofoam <clears throat> is not gonna change in temperature because the styrofoam doesn't conduct the cold as well as this one does. I would expect this one to be a lot colder than the styrofoam. Okay. It would still be the same. This would be colder. That one would be colder? Mm-hmm. It'd probably get colder. This would get colder. That would get colder yes. than that one? Yes. Even if they were in the same environment all day? Yes. What if I told you that these objects are actually the exact same temperature? I would be very surprised. <laughs> Why? Well, this one, like, the feel to it, you know, the, it's like, well, I get what you're saying now, because they're in the same temperature. Well, I feel like this one would be colder because it's got, like, a, a metal feel to it. So on my fingertips, it feels colder. Okay. Would it's they like, actually be the same temperature, or would that one be colder? Oh, maybe they would be the same, but this one has, like, the insulation to it. So, like, it feels not as cold as this one. I would not believe you. Even if they've been sitting in this all day in the same temperature conditions and they might have acclimated, you would still think that this one is colder than this one. Based on how they feel right now, yes. Really? It doesn't feel like it. It doesn't feel like it. Mm -mm. Really? I'd be surprised. Because one feels much colder than yes. the other. I wouldn't believe you. This one feels like it's been in the cooler for months. This one feels like it's been in the cooler for a few seconds. What? No, like this one, my hand is cold. This one is not. So even if they're sitting in the cooler all day, acclimating to the same temperature, one still feels colder than the other. Oh, okay. So. Yeah, my hand is still cold though. Yeah, so the reason for that is, is that um, it's actually taking heat from your hand quicker than the styrofoam. So you're right, it does have to do with the material, 
but the type of material. So it's a conductor, so it's going to pull energy from the hand faster. Switching gears, because we're talking okay. about ice. Okay, so fantastic. Warmer things now. Okay. If we were to bake a cake and take it out of the oven, would you be worried about touching the cake? <clears throat> no, because I love cake. Um, ooh, probably not. I'd be worried about touching the pan the cake was in. I wouldn't be worried about touching the cake. There'd be an extreme difference. I would get a burn from the pan or I wouldn't get a burn from the cake. I would be cautious, but not as worried about touching the cake as I would about the pan. Why would you be more worried about touching the pan than the cake? Because it's metal. So it holds the temperature more. I'd be more Sorry. worried about touching the pan because it was sitting right on the hot grate as opposed to the cake inside the pan. Oh, I'd be worried about touching the pan with my bare hands. What about the cake? No, I would eat the cake. <laughs> uh, a little bit. Not so much as I would be worried about touching the pan, though. The cake? No. Not the Wait, cake? Maybe. Yeah, maybe a little bit. That would be hot. <laughs> the cake would be hot? Yeah, the cake would be hot. Okay. Would you be worried about touching the pan that the cake is in? Yes, I would. More so the pan, but yes, because it is hot. Okay. How does the temperature of the cake compare to the temperature of the pan? Um, usually when I've baked my many cakes. Um, the temperature of the cake is slightly... It is not as hot as the temperature of the pan, depending on what kind of pan I use. Okay, but if you set your oven to 350. What do you think? The cake should be 350, but it's usually not. I don't know why. It wouldn't feel like it, but because the material is different or the makeup of it's different, it would feel different to my skin. It's hotter. I don't know, it would feel hotter. It would feel hotter? It would feel hotter because it was sitting right on the rack. That's what I would want to say. But what if they were the same temperature? Then it would feel the same, right? Pan being metal of some capacity, correct? That's going to be hotter, and I, th I think I would burn my hand. I would expect the pan to be hotter than the cake, I think. Even if they were in the oven for an hour at 350 degrees? Maybe not. I think they might be the same temperature now. Okay. Change my mind. So if they're the same temperature, why would the cake be less of a concern to you now that we're talking about this it's not they're both hot <laughs> both hot yeah. okay <laughs> but you still wouldn't touch the pan i don't think i touch either now <laughs> okay. what if they are in the oven for an hour at 350 would they have reached the same temperature Ooh, yes so when you actually take the can the cake out would it be the same temperature? I guess, but you're making me sound like I'm wrong. <laughs> so it would be the same temperature. Okay. It's the same thing. Yep. So if you take the cake in the pan out of the oven at the same time, you would be probably burned by the pan mm -hmm. because it transfers energy to your hand very quickly. Whereas the cake does it much slower. And so even though it's the same temperature, it doesn't feel as hot. Oh, the pan's way hotter. But now that I'm thinking of this, now I think that those are the same. Am I right? Is that right? Oh, I'm going to tell you that the two objects are of the same temperature. The cake and the pan? Yeah. I wouldn't believe you. <laughs> but I would believe her because I know Ms. Kanopoulos is a science teacher and she knows her stuff. In truth, there's no difference in temperature between these two objects. If they've been in the same surroundings for a long period of time, they come to thermal equilibrium with their environment which means they reach the same temperature. But the metal feels colder because it's able to conduct heat away from your hand faster than the styrofoam. So just because something feels colder, that doesn't mean it's actually at a lower temperature. It may just mean that it's conducting heat away from your hand faster.